Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Let's Build Trigby. Now, it has been a while since I've last made a video about Trigby. I am very much aware of that. Uh, thing is, I've been doing a lot of other stuff than Minecraft. I've been doing a lot of building as well, but just in a very chaotic way, so that's very hard to make videos of. I hope you understand. Anyways, let's get into it. Today, in today's episode, I'm uh, kind of working my way up the hill. Now, all of this footage has been recorded two months ago. And stuff has been changed, so stuff will change between episodes, uh, as you might understand. Now, first of all here, I wanted to experiment with some different kinds of techniques on building houses. I, I saw a lot of YouTube videos and I got inspired, and I created a new kind of style that works its way up the hill where the part of Trigby that's up there uh, really looks a bit different from what's downstairs. And I think that makes sense, right? Because downstairs is the old part of Trigby, smaller houses, older houses, more wood, and then on top are the bigger houses, more stone, and it kind of feels like, you know, the old town centers in Germany, like a bit more northern Germany, where it becomes a bit more made of stone and big. Uh, but yeah, you can see just simple wooden frames, uh, stone foundations with a nice and light color on top of it. Now, I didn't want to use too much of the light colors because those light colors, they really stand out in Trig B because it's a very darkish, warmish color uh, palette that I use in most of Trig B. So I kind of cover up the light with the, uh, the trapdoors and it kind of looks okay. Adding some details and a nice roof really makes the, the little house stand out, and I, it's still one of my favorite houses, actually, in Jigby. Now, one other thing was that I wanted to make sure that there's plenty of elevation and plenty of ways to go up the hill, because... I don't know about you, but when I'm in a city that's built on the side of a hill, I'm not often there, but if I am in a place like that, I love the ways of vertically, you know, uh, moving yourself throughout the city. Uh, moving upstairs, moving up hills, and zigzagging in between buildings is one of my favorite things to do in places like that. Now you can see here that I already carved out a couple uh, houses from, or a couple spaces for houses from the hill. Uh, where we're gonna build some more stone houses, and up there is gonna be one of the, the bigger buildings, the first bigger building that I uh, really built in Trigby, except for the, the two downstairs, of course. But first, we're going to be looking at some houses that building up there. It's going to have to wait for another episode. Now, just another generic house, and I wanted to kind of create a little square up there, because towns are more than just streets and buildings. They're also squares and parks and places of green. Now, I imagine Trickby to not have too much green, actually, but we're going to make it grey. It's going to, it's going to be stone, and I think I'm going to be building some kind of theatre square on it. Like you see in... That one Game of Thrones episode in season 6, where Arya visits the theater. Now, I wanted to try out some new colors for the roof. That's why I used the purple. It was actually my intention to use that for the end result. But I decided against it, and you can see that later on in the episode, that suddenly the roof has changed to a bit more manageable palette. Uh, using stairs as well. I think... It's nice to use full blocks for roofs, but it just doesn't fit into a place where I've already used so many stairs for roofs. So this whole building is kind of going to change. But yeah, I wanted to add a nice little tower, since we've got a couple of these styles of towers around the city. And I thought, well, let's add a couple more. Let's make people, you know, express their wealth in in peaks, in spires on top of their towers. And let, let that be the way that people show that they've got the money to spend. Now again, just using fences and slabs for the windowsills. My own glass texture that I might share with you eventually once I get the pack polished up. Um, I think it looks really nice. Really simple as well, you can just recreate this. If you want a tutorial for a house like that, um, I guess let me know. I might make one. But yeah, here at this point... At this point, uh, something revolutionary happened. I decided that it's actually okay if we use Deep Slate for roofs, right? Because I said Deep Slate's going to be brought in by the dwarves and it's going to be used for 
the defenses of the city, but it's also going to be used for roofs. So the deep slate tiles are fair game. Um, so some roofs with deep slate will pop up uh, further on up the hill. But yeah, here I wanted to kind of cap off the, uh, the little square that we're building, if you can envision that. And I wanted to make a little warehouse, um, which is going to get dug into the into the mountain a lot further, because this is a really small place, right? And I wanted a living space on top uh, that you can gain access to from on top of the hill, right? So you don't really have to walk any stairs. So you just basically live on the ground floor, but there's a garage beneath you, basically. Now here you can see the finished result, there's a little time skip, uh, sorry for that. You can see the little stairs going up with the anvil railings and the nice square, transitioning into something on the left. Now that's something that I lost all the recordings of, but I built a slum. Um, I envision all the defenses of the city built by the dwarves uh, with the deep slate, it's been imported, and after that the dwarves kind of have been left alone and kind of they were you know, they didn't have a job, so they had to make their slums, and this is where they are, pressed against the cliffs. Now, you can also see that uh, stairway going up. I don't know if that was there already before. That's going to be the dwarf way up the hill, and it's going to contain the houses of the richer dwarves that still live here. And underneath is going to be a little tidal pool, which has been transformed into uh, another slum. Now onto some of the houses in the cliff here. Uh, I wanted to add some variation, so I imagine this house has been built by a dwarf, probably. Looking at the amount of stone and the, the, the certain style it goes for. And you can see a lot of planning in the back there as well. Now that planning is part of something that's going to be probably next episode. I cannot promise that. Um, I hope it will be next episode, because that's going to be... I think it's going to be the Goldskin Brewery which is going to be the biggest brewery in town. It's going, to, it's going to have multiple buildings. It's going to be opposite of a giant inn or mead hall. And it's going to be amazing. I love the buildings upstairs. Um, but it'll take some time before we get there at this pace, of course. Now, what I kind of wanted to go with was to have buildings here of like two stories tall. And then on top of that, buildings built from the layer above, right? Because you can see that the ground floor of the third story lines up with the ground level on top of the cliff. So I really like the idea of living on the ground floor from one side and then on the other side having a drop of two stories down. Uh, so that's kind of what I tried to go for with this house. Very traditional style, just using trapdoors and slabs for <laughs> details again. Simple roof because it's going to be covered up uh, from all different angles. And yeah. Now on the left, you quickly saw another building that I'm really proud of. But anyways, um, as you might have noticed, uh, these videos, they've been taking a long time to produce for me since I've been busy and stuff. So I think I'm going to switch it up a little bit. What I'm going to do from now, I think, is maybe first person walk through the city and just show what changed, you know, maybe show some building when I feel like it, but I really cannot sustain building everything in one go as to make a replay of it. So I think I'm just going to be giving updates and I'll be giving more updates all around the server, um, which is Lord Dacker's Patreon server, by the way, if you wondered. So check out Lord Dacker's channel. Uh, there's a couple other great people on there. But yeah, I, I think I'm going to switch it up. Because, you know, I do love where this place is going, right? Like, Trig B, I love the place. It's the, my biggest project. Like, it's the furthest that I've ever gotten with such a big project, uh, I should say. And there's so much stuff that I haven't shown you yet, uh, with the recordings being lost or just interiors of buildings that are so worth showing. So, I think next time, you're probably going to see some time lapses. You're also going to see me in first person just checking out the places that I construct and that other people construct on this server. But yeah, I, I really hope that uh, the people that watch this, which are quite a few people actually, is, the, the amounts have been growing steadily. I really hope you enjoyed watching this and if you want to know anything about what I build, 
just ask me in my Discord or at my Twitch or in my comment section and I'll see you next time. Bye!